Hi everybody, welcome to the first video of uh, Sunwise uh, alias Kung Fu Panda. <laughs> I, I call it Kung Fu Panda. Well, it's a collaboration with uh, By the Ballet, which is uh, it is a, pat a Patreon uh, of STL's archives uh, for printing, 3D printing. <laughs> Three D printing. This is a very cool figure. You can print it in print it in bigger uh, in a bigger size. But even in a small size like this one, it's uh, very easy to follow. Uh, easy volumes, uh, big rounded. So I think could be very uh, fun to paint. But also, as you see in the in the process, it has uh, more options like textures or maybe uh, non metallic effects. I made jade. Emerald non-metallic, for example, and some uh, full texture in the in the skin. And well, I don't disturb you anymore. I leave you with the video. I hope you like it. See you in the next one. Bye bye. Well, the first thing we're going to do in this process is to apply uh, over the black prime uh, base colors. Uh, I do that because some parts of this figure are going to be in colors that usually doesn't cover very well, don't cover very well, like the orange or white, like grays, uh, red, etc. So my preference is to apply uh, colors that will be in the same range of tonality, uh, but they are more, more brown or more darker than the original or future one that we are going to use. For example, for orange parts, I'm applying the mahogany from AK and uh, the jade parts, this emerald with Prussian blue or cavalry brown from Vallejo for, uh, to use in the red parts. Well, remember that if you like what I'm doing, you can support me by subscribing to the YouTube channel and giving me a thumbs up in the video if you like it, but also by subscribing to the Patreon. Uh, for only 3 euros per month, you will receive exclusive videos about different topics like fundamentals of painting, different techniques, uh, exclusive processes, and you will be updated with my latest uh, works, step-by-step uh, -step pictures from my current works. You can ask me any doubt, of course, in the Patreon, also in the YouTube as well, and you will receive exclusive uh, discounts on different shops. Uh, so I think it's worthly for you for only those three euros and you will help me a lot to still continue creating uh, content in the, in the different media uh, formats and help me to grow even more this community that we are creating around this project. i uh, leave you with the video. Thank you for watching and bye bye. Uh, obviously, you can use uh, brown in any part of the figure, for example, that is going to be orange, brown, uh, orange, um, red, sorry, yellow, etc. But I want to generate uh, some contrast in between the different elements at the same time. So using a uh, more ready stone for future red parts, brown, orange, like the mahogany for orange parts, um, this khaki British uniform, which is some kind of uh, green, yellow color for the uh, stick, this gray is brown for future white areas, etc. I'm going to achieve a very useful base coat, uh, but at the same time, I will generate some information about the combination of the different colors in the figure that obviously I can change in future steps, but uh, it will save a lot of time when applying the, the next coat color that are going to be the real colors I'm going to apply. Remember that the panda has some different colors in, in their skin, white and black. So uh, I mix the uh, white with, uh, with this um, dark brown camouflage from uh, Vallejo, um, which is like black, almost like black. So mix it, when I mix it with white, I generate this gray and now I'm using the, this very dark brown just to apply a base coat over the, the skin. Uh, it's not the, the idea I will develop in the next steps, but it's the idea I had when I started to make some kind of brown tonality black parts, uh, but they can change in the future easily just by applying another coat of color, as you will see. 
For example, the leaves in the stick, uh, I'm going to apply this green just to make it different from the stick itself and to generate ideas. I can change, obviously, and it will change the color of the stick. But if I generate ideas from the beginning, I can generate or have more options to choose in when I start the true part of the, the, the painting. 